All right, ladies and gentlemen, what's up? Welcome back to Four Strategy Gaming. I'm got another commentary for you today. This matchup is going to be between Mouse's Morrow and this is OGS MC. It says Blizz Event A, but it is OGS MC. So now you know, and I do not have to tell you again. I will not tell you again. This is OGS MC. Stop disagreeing with me. Go to your room. All right, so what's going on, guys? It's been a couple days since the last commentary, uh, so I'm going to be happy to bring this game to you. It's actually a little series between these two players. Uh, this is, of course, PVZ. Mar over here is a red Zerg, and the uh, blue Protoss is OGS MC. We can see MC actually looks like he will be going for an Expo, uh, likely to be that Forge Fast Expand that so many Protoss players like to do on this map. We are, of course, on Shakur's Plateau. Take a look over here. You can see this is the version of the map with the lack of destructible rocks. Also, just in general, the terrain has changed. We do have these rocks over here instead, but there's no back entrance into the base anymore. Um, and just overall, just a few, uh, few changes to the terrain, if you will. So yes, you're going to be casting this series between these two players. I'm also going to be coming out with some strategy videos on a regular basis. That is correct. What I want to start doing here with the channel is just trying to make things a little more consistent. And I think that that's a reasonable thing to to ask of myself and to uh, provide for you guys. So I'm going to be happy to do that for you. Uh, going to be coming up with a sort of schedule. And yeah, I also want to let you know, people wondering about, hey, uh, other casters on your channel, what's going on for us? I, I, you know, I subscribe to for you. That's why I subscribe to your channel. Well, I want to let you know that this is kind of an evolving and growing thing. Um, as Four Strategy Gaming continues to grow, we are going to be picking on, picking, not picking on. We're not making fun of anybody. We're, we're going to be picking up more comments and more casters. Uh, the whole idea behind it is this is a community thing uh, aimed towards helping people improve at the game. It's not always just going to be myself. There's going to be other people on board and you know we're going to be moving into other games as well. The next notable one of course being Diablo 3 and there's going to be people who help me with that as well. Um, so just that's that's the direction we're going with this whole thing. So uh, I mean I don't know like it or not that's, that's kind of what it is. I, I have big plans basically for, for strategy gaming. But anyways let's focus on the matchup up here. Uh, we can see Morrow pulling guys off the gas right now, getting the metabolic boost. He will be, of course, looking to get that expo um, sometime relatively soon, actually. He's going to be coming out with those first four Zerglings. Going to be using those to try to shoo away the probe here of MC, and that will, of course, then allow him to drop his expo. Taking a look back over in MC's base, we can see he, he of course, did decide to go for that Forge Fast Expand. Um, going with a, well, like a one Gateway Expand isn't really the smartest idea if you're going to be starting off with, on this map, um, with the basically the start off down here with starting the pylon here and putting a gateway here it would leave you very vulnerable so getting that forge first is very smart allows you to get that photon cannon up early enough to stop any zerglings from running into your base because at this point zerglings aren't very likely to try to suicide in your base and of course uh, we're also going to see mc likely to fully wall off or leave one space for his delta we'll see which one he decides to do i'm um, taking a look over here nothing going on yet he's just going to be sticking with this forge the gateway's coming out and there we go there is that cyber next core now we can see right now Maro. Uh, fully aware of what's going on. He does have the Overlord scouting over here in MC's base. And let's take a look over here for Morrow. Morrow has gotten down that expo. We can see we do have a probe scout moving on through. One Zergling chasing it around. Another Zergling hot on its trail, but actually not going to catch up before the uh, probe scout actually moves into the base. But no, Queen up here going to get one shot, two shots, denied. Uh, so the probe does get dropped there. And that is very good because uh, Morrow didn't want MC to see what he had going on inside of his main. Um, you want to try to deny that scouting and vision as much as possible quite clearly. Taking a look over here, Morrow's actually going to be pulling back right now with the Overlord. Uh, he did see that that Cyber Next Corp was coming on through. And, of course, the last thing that he wants is to deal with a Stalker and losing kind of an Overlord unnecessarily. We can actually see a second cannon going down. Uh, so MC wants to make sure that he is nice and secure here. And, actually, this this build for Protoss players has become much more effective with the changes to the map here. Again, with, this, with no back entrance into your base, uh, you don't have to watch back here, really. Not nearly as much. Um, you don't have to worry about those rocks that were once there being destroyed and kind of having some Zerglings waltz right up in your base. So it makes it much easier as a Protoss player. You can just focus on defending the front wall here. And that is basically all you really need to do. And you are all set and ready to rock from that point. We can see Morrow sitting down with now these three queens actually going to be using this extra queen likely to just spread creep across the map. A very nice play there. Now something to keep in mind, Morrow does know at this point that MC is on those two bases. So Morrow is very likely going to be looking to in fact move to get a third. He doesn't want to fall too far behind economically. 
We do have that one Zergling moving up to get some scouting info. He's just seeing the front uh, buildings. He already knew those were there, but he actually wanted to see uh, if there were any units or if uh, at this point MC was trying to make some sort of a push anytime soon. We can see actually uh, right now MC is going to be coming down with these three additional gateways. They're so going to be sitting on four gateways. Popular builds from this Forge Fast Expand are a six gate level one upgrade, or we could see like a four gate and a robo. That's another option as well. Uh, we'll see precisely what MC decides to go for. Uh, taking a look over here, Marl getting these extractors up and saturated. You can see right now, taking a look at the army tab, very low, only two army supply, and that's actually uh, just the Zerglings that he's got scattered throughout the map. He does have this one Zergling over here in patrol. A uh, very nice play by Marl. It's going to allow him to see if MC does try to get up an expo over there if he tries to go for a third, and then of course, we do have this one Zergling scouting outside of MC's base, and this is going to let him see if a push ends up coming down. Taking a little shot there from that Photon Can to the face. Uh, there we go. We have some nice spread here of the creep from Marl. Going to let him, of course, get that vision there. Uh, better, better, clearer understanding of what's going on across the map. We can spread that creep as far as possible. Uh, this is something that, of course, all Zerg players should be looking to do, and we do see a Zerg... Uh, drone transferring down here for Maro and he's going to begin this expo very likely I expect to see that sometime very very soon uh, he, and again the idea like I mentioned is that he doesn't want to be on the same number of bases as MC for too very long so there's that Robo. Uh, looks like MC is going to be going for that 4-gate Robo. Um, and it could very well just actually be deciding to go straight for Colossus. Immortals are going to work pretty well as well against a Roach Heavy build. And now at this point, we don't really know what Morrow is going for. Uh, well, we know what he's going for, but he doesn't have at this point. He doesn't have a clear definition as to whether or not he's Roach Heavy or Zergling Heavy or anything like that. Uh, so going straight for Immortals wouldn't be the best idea. And that is, of course, why we are seeing our buddy MC here move out with this Observer. Uh, he's going to be moving straight into the base here of Mara. He wants to check unit composition. He wants to check for what tech structures he has. We can see Mara coming out with this Hydra Den, getting that range upgrade for that as well. We can, of course, also see, ooh, getting that, uh, that tunneling claws there, allowing him to move underground while burrowed with those roaches. That is very, very effective. Just needs to be careful about any observers. We do have two Phoenix Scouts moving out as well here. Very nice. Uh, those hallucinated Phoenix Scouts from MC. That's going to let him actually spot down this third. It looks like he's going to be rallied right over there. Yes, he will. Uh, so at this point MC is going to be aware of that expo uh, we do have that one observer moving on around here and there you go a little harassment although no damage going to be going down from that there of course are those uh, speed upgrade the glial reconstitution coming out for those roaches so what we're likely to see for Morrow is roach hydra heavy with corruptors that's very logical we can see that uh, we do have that spire coming on through right now for Morrow and this is a solid build as Zerg against Protoss. It's going to work really well. It really comes down to engagement. Uh, you get Corruptor steal with this Colossus. We can actually see, there we go, MC is coming out with those Colossus. The bay is up. Uh, Thermal Lance is coming out, and that first Colossus, it's on its way. So yeah, it's going to work really well. It really become it really comes down to engagements. This is probably one of the best, most solid uh, unit compositions you can do as Zerg against Protoss. Just go Roach Hydra, Corruptor. But you have to be careful about force fields. You need to be careful about where you engage the Protoss army because it can be very, very dangerous. Uh, Roach is actually going to be shooing back this army, but no force fields going down. And here comes the Colossus, but nice burrow usage there from Morrow. Uh, going to actually let those Roaches escape there. So very nice play. Uh, two Spine Crawlers going to be picking and prodding there at the army of MC and actually forcing uh, MC's army to push back. Now we can see at this point, it uh, looks like MC is going for that third base and actually here we go. I'm going to want to see a fourth and look at that. Just as I check up over there, uh, we ha are seeing Morrow come down with this fourth base and again he's doing this because he knows at this point uh, that MC is on three and he doesn't, and again, he doesn't want to be on the same number of bases. It's a really bad situation as a Zerg player for you to be on the same number as, of bases as your Terran or Protoss opponent. Pushing on down. Uh, Going to be seeing engagement coming out. Roach is moving forward. Uh, again, needs to be really careful about those force fields. Taking a lot of damage. Going to be burrowing. Trying to retreat. Again, still pretty dangerous because of that observer. Uh, we do have this one corruptor on the board. So if he can get some cloak detection over there, he's going to actually be able to snipe down that observer. Because having that in place is very dangerous. There is that overseer. Look at that. Uh, but unfortunately, there's no anti-air at this point next to that observer. So not going to be able to drop it quite as of yet. Morrow's coming out with 16 roaches. He's also got this level 1 uh, air attack and the level 1 missile attack upgrades coming out. The level 2 missile attack upgrades coming out uh, for his army. Uh, taking a look over here at MC. He's just got that level 1 right now. They're going to be sticking with that. Uh, just has this one forge. I don't think he ended up getting a second forge. No, not as of yet. And again, we can see MC is on this third. He's starting to get that saturator right now. Two assimilators coming on through. A uh, small little task force here of stalkers. Just regular stalkers, not blink. Uh, we'll actually like to see that blink upgrade. That can be very, very 
very, uh, very, very well. That can do very, very well for you. And look at that dropping down. I, this is like I'm unbelievable here with this just random spotting of these things. So we can see that Twilight Council coming down, and um, very likely to be getting blink for those stalkers again. That's going to be very, very effective for him. Uh, taking a look here at the army size, we're 90 to 85, so both about even. The slight edge going to Morrow right now. Very roach heavy. Actually, not getting any hydralis I don't think at all no so just getting that hydrodent in preparation just in case but decided not to probably mainly due to seeing this Colossus on the board this early in the game a uh, Colossus just absolutely tear through uh, hydralis they're just they absolutely destroy them and look at this Phoenix Scout going down gonna be seeing that fourth base here of Morrow Going to be pretty hard, actually, at this point, though, for uh, MC to actually push across the board. We can see that 122 supply, as opposed to that 89. Uh, so going to be a little difficult, even with that nice tech here um, and having those Colossus. It's still going to be difficult for him to push across the board. And look at this. Moving down for an engagement. Lots of roaches coming down here from Morrow. Again, needs to be careful. This is the last place those roaches want to push into. Force fields would cut that roach army right in half, and that would be very dangerous. So it needs to be very, very careful. It needs to be very uh, precise as to where he decides to pick his engagement. We do have of course, have these corruptors here as well. Those are going to be used to snipe down this Colossus once engagement does. But look at this Morrow pushing onto the expansion here. But uh, going to be dropping that forge. Yes, he does. While the upgrade is still taking place. And here we go. Big engagement going down. Nice force fields coming down. Morrow's going to want to target fire down those Colossus as quickly as possible. Gets one down. Second one, though, is it going to get it down? Very close. Losing a lot of roaches in the meantime, though. Uh, there's just so many stalkers right here. And seeing some blink stalker micro here as well. And all the roaches are gone. Just a few corruptors. Are they going to manage to make their way home? Uh, yes, one does make it home. Uh, but zero kills for him. So he didn't even do anything that battle. I'm sure he did a bit of damage. But still, very unfortunate situation right now. Mars going to be trying to re-up his forces here. He's at 84 to 84 right now. Uh, he does actually want a little bit more before he actually engages his Protoss Death Ball here. Uh, no more Colossus at this point, really. Yeah, so making a switch to Immortals because he's seeing very Roach heavy. Going to want to see some Hydras as a result. There we go. A couple Hydras coming on through. Roach is moving down to engage. And actually doing a pretty good job here on MC's forces. Getting very close to those Stalkers. That's exactly what he wants to do uh, forcing the blink back and actually gonna be burrowing those roaches and pulling them back a little bit but uh-oh warp in going down over here inside of Morrow's base MC very nice play using that war prism gonna force uh, force Morrow to push back with some of his forces to try to deal with this he doesn't want to lose that expo there we go roaches going forward they're gonna actually be able to drop those elts pretty quickly a uh, zelts just doing what they can for damage over here uh, there's no anti-air over here though and he definitely needs to get rid of this MC is just gonna continue to warp in units if he doesn't and actually it looks like MC is gonna be picking that up and heading back home um, so he still does have the base up was able to save it but Morrow I think he lost quite a bit of workers in that engagement I'm not 100% certain let's see uh, how many work there have been five worker kills for MC I'm guessing that some of those uh, were during that engagement so yes he did lose a few not a ton though and actually look at this MC getting ready to warp in some more at some point in the not too distant future uh, Morrow has no idea that that is over there so this is actually going to come into play some sometime very very soon and here comes the push Morrow again needs to be very careful pulling down with a lot of overlords as well uh, going to let him spread out some of that creep and increase that speed of the roaches and the hydras that's one of the biggest things though hydras are so bad off of creep definitely want to get some creeps right and there we go creeps here going down moving down for this engagement going to be trying to target fire down those immortals actually burrow going down and I don't think there's any observer right there so was able to get up nice and close but still force fields going down uh, it looks like to be there is a bit too much right now from MC and Amaro's um, losing so many forces these Colossus just going to town over here on those roaches are completely out of the range now those roaches were nowhere near at the same time MC warping in two small waves here of the zealots and gonna go straight for that hatchery they're gonna drop it very dangerous situation right now. He doesn't want to lose this, but it doesn't look like he has much of a choice. Uh, he, uh, MC does manage to drop down that expo of Morrow. So Morrow in a tough situation right now. At this point, he's on the exact same number of bases. Uh, maybe try to come up with that expo over here. Either way, he has to deal with that war prism. You can see that war pr prism moving across the map right now. Um, and still that patrolling zergling over here. But uh, at this point, it doesn't really matter. We are seeing a push come down. From MC, MC sitting on a lot of units. He has the 87 to the 94 and pushing forward with those hydras, trying to get close. But again, the force fields, force fields just tearing through this army. It's so very hard. You're going to be microing back those Colossus, and there is the GG from Morrow.
Uh, so there you have it, guys. Just so tough to deal with those force fields, especially with that nice, healthy Protoss ground mix. A couple Colossus sitting in the background. Uh, even with those Burrowed Roaches, they're not nearly as effective when that Observer is in play. And a lot of times, well, you can expect that Observer to be in play. So it makes it very difficult to deal with. Uh, we also, of course, saw that great harassment. And actually, the nail in the coffin was the fact that Mara lost his base to that little Zealot Bomb that we saw from MC. So nice play between these two players. Hopefully, you guys enjoy the game. Uh, be sure to stay tuned because we've got game number two coming in just one moment. Oh, yeah, and as always, guys, keep watching and keep owning.